also a story I talked about yesterday, but I thought I'd repeat here because I know the audiences are not always the same, is uh, DeSantis has just formed a, um, uh, you know, has formed, started an investigation into vaccines and into uh, vaccine production and into vaccine uh, approvals and into uh, the side effects of vaccines and and uh, into, uh, you know, the heart inflammation that vaccines uh, cause in some young people. And all of this, a, a, a populist gimmick to get the anti-vax and to get the anti-vax and vaccine, COVID vaccine, uh, people behind him. This is, it, it's a disgusting effort. It is a, uh, it is unjust. It, 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 it is a repudiation. Of the of the massive achievements and the benefits we got from actual uh, from from actual uh, Moderna and Pfizer's vaccine uh, production um, and uh, in, in in distribution, um, it, it it is a, it is a play it is a play to the base. Uh, it, there's no way you're going to get the truth out of a politicized. The government shouldn't be involved. The truth will come out from. Uh, in the medical journals, the truth will come out from doctors, the truth will come out from researchers. The truth is already out. There is no truth that we don't know of today. Uh, there's a lot of uh, made up stuff that pseudo, that doctors who uh, have resentment against the system for a variety of different reasons uh, keep distributing. It is uh, misinformation, it is uh, fake news. The stuff that they are um, they're discussing and uh, elaborating on, and uh, uh, for a politician to play that in order to uh, in order to win the political his political base is a disgusting form of populism. It takes DeSantis another rung down, in my opinion. Uh, this is the same guy who, of course, uh, banned cruise ships from requiring vaccines in order to enter them. That is violating their property rights by requiring them to take people who are now vaccinated, which is, again, uh, you know, I was willing to forgive DeSantis a lot because he was an alternative to, to Trump. At some point, Trump becomes a non-entity, and he's quickly becoming that. The recent poll showed DeSantis uh, 23 points ahead of Trump among Republicans. Uh, now Trump comes, uh, now uh, DeSantis comes under scrutiny, and so far, thumbs down on, on DeSantis, um, and, and the fact is that he is working himself into a position where he won't be electable. That is, he's working himself where, into a position. Um, he's working himself into a position where uh, he is going to win the base. Uh, to a large extent, that base is crazy anyway. That base is a base uh, that was excited about Trump. That base was a base that was... To some extent, a, a significant number of them were excited about all kinds of conspiracy theories, QAnon, and, and all kinds of other stuff. He's going to win the base. He might win the nomination and then not be able to capture the independents and not be able to capture so-called moderate Republicans because he's staking out a position on the wacky right. Um, very disappointed in DeSantis, uh, very disappointed in those who support this kind of uh, uh, nonsense vis-a-vis -vis the vaccines. I've looked at all the numbers. I've looked at all the hysteria. I keep saying, okay, maybe I'm wrong, and I keep looking again at the numbers and, and at the research papers, the research papers that actually uh, uh, pass scrutiny. And uh, there's just very little question that the benefits of the vaccine uh, far, 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 far exceeds, yes, some risk to young people. And from the beginning, I said young people shouldn't get vaccinated, but far exceed. I mean, the risk to young people have... Getting COVID and getting heart inflammation far exceeds the risk to young people of getting a vaccine and getting heart, heart inflammation. Uh, the whole way this is presented and the people uh, who are presenting it, that is the, the so-called the scientists that are on that side, the anti-vax, the anti-COVID vaccine side, is just uh, ridiculous. Um, uh, this is another one of those examples of a, of a crazy uh, of a crazy conspiracy theory. Uh, it's a global conspiracy theory because countries all over the world are using uh, mRNA vaccines. And as I told you, I think last time, China has seven different companies trying to create their own. Uh, young people at age of 18 to 30 are far more at risk of getting heart inflammation when they get COVID than getting heart inflammation because of the vaccine. Um, and it's, it's, it's much worse for them if they get COVID. So 
It's not even close. It not even close. Yeah, there are side effects. Nobody's saying they're not side effects on the vaccines. Uh, I, I, I suffered side effects. We all suffered side effects from getting the vaccine. And there's no question that you get my, mitochondria uh, from the vaccines, but it is a minor side effect. Again, mitochondria, uh, the, the inflammation of the heart is much worse under COVID. Um, the, the, the data here is, is, is pretty clear. Um, and uh, yeah, young people and children should have never, you know, the vaccines I never thought were particularly uh, good for young people. But, but you don't need a, a government investigation, a government partisan investigation with a clear partisan mission to appease a political base in order to discover that. What you need is scientists uh, to keep doing the research and to keep figuring out what worked and what didn't. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.